Right, we're starting to get uh, towards the end of our series of the mechanics of music and uh, we're going to construct a C major chord progression so we need to learn to make it more interesting we've we've already learned the three main chords in a C major chord progression they're the same as the three chords used in a blues chord progression C major triad, F major triad and G major triad what we usually do is we designate uh, triads or chords in any chord progression with Roman numerals based on what degree of the scale the chord is built on so for example in C major the C major triad is chord 1 the F major triad it's the fourth note of the scale is chord 4 and the G major triad is designated as chord 5 now we're going to uh, introduce two chords and they are minor chords when we build a chord on A in the C major chord progression it's an A minor chord or chord 6 and on D or the second note of the scale chord 2 is also a minor chord D minor so let's have a look at that here we are in garage band new project choose we're going to call it C major chord progression slow it down a little bit makes it a bit easier to work. You can always speed your project up after you've played it so it makes it easier to put it together. You could actually slow it right down to 80 beats a minute if you wanted to but it might be a bit painstakingly slow. Then speed it up. Of course we're in C major because we're writing a C major chord progression and let's create that. Right, now uh, we'll have a look, let's just go across to our studio keyboard again and let's just have a look at these two new chords D minor or chord 2 and A minor chord 6. Right, just finding the A minor triad again we want the high C, so here's middle C to the left of those two black notes so if we go up to these two black notes just down to the left there is our high C, count down two two white notes and we've got A. Jump one white note and C. Jump another white note, we've got E. Right, now we're going to also have a look at the D minor triad for this chord progression. So there's middle C. Jump up one note and count two white notes to F, two white notes to A, D, F, A. Okay, here we are back in Garage Band, and we've learnt those new chords. We already knew the A minor chord from an earlier chord progression. Okay, let's just see our keyboard's working. That's fine. Uh, let's make sure we select our count in, and you can actually see uh, writing and using a C major chord progression. The worksheet uh, it gets a bit complex. We're going to construct a 16-bar chord progression. Alright, so let's move fairly quickly. Let's just uh, do our C major chord. Right, and we only need to do that once. We're going to do some of that copying and pasting again to save us time. Open up our track editor and let's select score. So we can see that that's what it looks like. Okay, now make sure that the cursor is on bar 2 and we're going to find our F chord and record it. Okay, and to hit stop, uh, we just either, to stop it, we either just uh, hit the play button here or hit the space bar. Okay, we want a G major chord now. And I know that these chords uh, sound pretty good in this order, but uh, we're going to show you another neat trick pretty soon. Okay, we're right on bar 3 and we're going to do a G major triad. Hang on, didn't quite get enough beats there. Let's just make sure we're right on bar 3. There we go. Okay, and uh, now we can start to do a little copying and pasting because what we want, bar 2, Let's make sure that's right on bar 4 there, but we've highlighted 
the second bar which is F major and we're going to use our shortcuts Command C for copy Command V for paste right we've got our first four bars now we want to repeat uh, our C chord so our first bar Command C for copy Command V for paste now in the next bar we're looking at the second line of music here we want another F chord so command C I've highlighted this second bar and command V for paste and we can always look at our score down here to check that we've done correct we've got a C chord then an F chord then a G chord back to an F chord then a C chord then an F chord so what we want now is another G chord so that's in our third bar just click once on that command C to copy command V to paste now what we want is an A minor chord and that's the one that we just went across to the studio keyboard earlier to revise so we're right there smack bang on let's just make sure that we are go up there click on that number 8 and we're going to hit record and put in a an A minor chord okay it's done that correctly and now we want an F chord so that you notice how I use this scroll bars there second bar command and I don't want to paste it there I want to put it in bar 9 okay then bar 3 for our G chord it helps to have a very good sort of memory for numbers command V for paste and we want another F chord now I know that this is how the best sort of order for the chords to go in and then we're going to put in a C chord so bar 1 I think we copied that yes because there it is we can see what's going on and just go back here a bit to see that yes that's correct we're in the last line now so we want another F chord so we use this one here to scroll back here there's our second bar highlight command make sure it's going to go in bar 13 paste now we want to put in a D minor chord which we went across to our uh, studio keyboard earlier and, and we learned that so let's go there it is we know where to find on the keyboard okay and we've got yes there's our D minor chord we just want a G major chord now so let's go right back here to bar 3 copy Winnerly there bar 15 paste and finish it off with a C chord there it is okay now to score read it and have a listen take the cursor right back by hitting the return button let's have a listen Right, and uh, that makes for a very interesting 16-bar C major chord progression.